What's up, y'all? We're on the red carpet right now, getting ready for the Grammys, of course. And this morning, I woke up to the news that there was a helicopter crash, and then just found out it was Kobe Bryant and others on there, and he's passed away. This is devastating news, and I don't know, trying to keep ahead in the game while we do this. So it's uh, RIP to a legend. That was one year ago today on the Grammys red carpet. It also marks one year since NBA icon Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and seven others were killed in a helicopter crash January 26, 2020. Today, we remember the Lakers legend and the legacy and culture impact he made following his tragic passing. I don't know how you were able to get your head on straight with all the that, emotions. You were, you were processing it and then telling stars on the carpet, Dean. Yeah, it was, it was definitely an interesting day. And, you know, I sit back today, I'm like, I'm sad today. I really am. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I look back and this was a day a year ago. I was at the Grammys. We're excited. Artists were excited. They're going to be celebrating their craft, their music. And, you know, I'm getting ready. I'm ironing my shirt. And there was news. Of, you know, you've seen some behind-the-scenes stuff we were doing and some of our, our footage as well as, you know, you'll see some of the actual camera footage. First um, it was of a crash, but we didn't know so who. So that's what it was. Yeah, so I'm yeah. watching, you know, the news channel out there in L.A., and it's, it's a crash. You know, it's 9, 9.45, 9.50-ish, um, you know, West Coast time there. It's a crash. Don't know who, who. They're starting to develop, develop, develop. We get to the carpet now. We're getting everything set up. And getting ready about an hour before all the stars are coming on there. Now it's about 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, West time. Coast, L.A. time there. And I just happened to pull my phone up and I got the report instantly. And I said it out loud in that moment. And you had all these big outlets, Variety's there, Us Weekly, uh, you know, Hollywood. Like all these big named outlets in the U.S. And I went to our team, Kobe Bryant's dead. And people heard that and started calling their newsrooms. Because they didn't know, like, no one had that news at that point. So then it just quickly spread across the red carpet. Everyone, what's going to happen here? Then it, it became the Grammys there. What are we going to do? Do we yeah. continue the awards? How do we address um, it? How do we address it? They didn't know who else was on this. Uh, and then, you know, as we're having conversations with different stars on there, I'm finding out more information. And I don't like being that person, especially, you know how it is when you interview mm -hmm. somebody. You don't want to surprise anybody ever. But we're telling them about Kobe about his daughter, about the seven others that happened there. So it was, a, it was a really tough day for a lot of people. The Grammys themselves were able to switch things up, of course, uh, you know, as things were happening. But as the day was going on, we're there doing some interviews. A lot of people said they didn't want to do interviews and skipped the red carpet mm -hmm. uh, out of respect. And then you hear a word of a tribute happening, because this is at the Staples Center, the house Kobe built. He spent 20 years playing in the league all 20 with the Los Angeles yeah. Lakers, and that's where the Grammys were. So yeah. people were flocking. They were coming down to the arena, and the outside flowers. the arena, you're seeing this. The memorial started right away. Um, you know, the flowers, the signs, people leaving shoes, and this was all developing that afternoon as everyone's getting ready for the Grammys as well. And it, you know, it shocked the world. Like, stars tweeting about it all night. Um, you know, as soon as they got the news and you're seeing, you know, the memorial viz right here. So this was um, the big memorial service that happened, of course, uh, in February, February 24th, inside the Staples Center, um, celebrating the lives of Kobe and Gianna. That's Vanessa Bryant, his wife there. Unimaginable loss for mm -hmm. her and all the other, you know, uh, the families, the kids that were in the in the helicopter and they were going his daughter was a promising young basketball star so he herself. had the mamba and mambasita academies yeah. where he was helping young people you see michael yeah. jordan you know and, and people kind of made fun of the michael jordan memes the crying memes came out again with that but he he really gave us an insight about the friendship that him and kobe had that a lot of people didn't know they mm -hmm. knew that they were connected in that way because kobe always strived to be michael and try and catch michael jordan because he considered him the greatest but they spoke a lot, and they had a very close friendship. Uh, so there were so many people at that, that uh, memorial, that tribute. Of course, Shaq was there, Beyonce, Alicia Keys, uh, all performing at that one. But since then, you know, another thing that came out that was really cool about this, Kobe's a dad of four daughters, right? And he lost one daughter there. But he always said that if he could do it again or if he could have five more kids, he'd want them all to be da uh, daughters. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm a girl dad. And then because of that, this whole girl dad movement in tribute to yeah. him started and everyone would start posting photos dads would start posting photos of them and their daughters and using that hashtag girl dad so that was a you know a very cool moment and people still doing that now due to uh, kobe and gianna as well and we do know the national garden of american heroes they're going to put put up a uh, kobe bryant statue mm. which would be very cool as well so uh, as i mentioned to you i hope they include gianna too i think so yeah. you know i think they will maybe a picture of the two of them Gigi. like kind of that uh, of him holding her or something mm. like that because they had such a great relationship and, uh, you know, he, they always said to him, 
Did you want a son to continue the legacy? He's like, why? I got Gigi. Yeah. I, I got her. She's great. So um, as I mentioned, I'm going to post more stuff on my social media, some of the behind the scenes things that happen, uh, and just kind of give you my perspective throughout the day as well. So you can so check that out a little at bit Devo later Brown on. for yeah. that. And tweet us at BT Toronto. Mm -hmm. Let us know what Kobe Bryant meant to you, where you were when you heard the news yeah. as we reminisce today. Thanks, for Steve. Sure. We'll be back Thanks. with more BT after this.